In 1901, the Qing authorities were forced to sign another unequal treaty, the Boxer Protocol. The Boxer Protocol marked a new low. China had now sunk to both semi-feudal and semi-colonial status. Countless Chinese people struggled to save the nation and its people. The success of the Russian Revolution of October 1917 introduced an ideological alternative, Marxism. Li Da Zhao published a series of articles. He predicted that one day the communist banner would fly over the whole world. On May 4, 1919, a nationwide patriotic movement was born, the May 4th Movement. By August 1920, the first practical step had been taken. A Communist Party organization had been established in Shanghai with Chun Du Xiu as secretary. In October, Li Dajiao established a Communist Party organization in Beijing. Facilitated by the newly founded party organizations in Shanghai and Beijing, other communist entities emerged in cities such as Changsha, Wuhan, Guangzhou, and Jinan. Following suit, Chinese intellectuals and students in Japan and France formed similar organizations. Number 76, Xingye Road, Shanghai, a historic building of global significance. Here, 100 years ago, a remarkable gathering took place, the first ever National Congress of the Communist Party of China. During this first National Congress, several important decisions were made. Communist Party of China confirmed as the party's name, and socialism and communism specified as its goals. The founding of the Communist Party of China marked the beginning of a revolutionary new chapter in the history of the Chinese nation. The birth of the Communist Party in China would bring about the fulfillment of the Chinese Revolution. <laughs> 